Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. In today's video is my first impressions of the Bark River Classic Drop Point Hunter in A2 steel with African Blackwood stainless steel bolster, full tang knife, convex edge, a nice lanyard hole right there, and it has a high saber grind with the Classic Drop Point Hunter blade shape. Stick around. Let's see what I think of this knife. Okay, here's a close-up of the sheath. You can get brown leather sheath or a black leather sheath. It's top quality, made in America. Generous belt loop, comfortable on the belt. It rides really low, so it won't dig into your ribs, like the handle won't dig into your ribs. Top quality stitching, like I said, made in America. This is a nice, classy sheath. It's very comfortable and does the job. Holds the knife in there. So there is the classic drop point hunter black leather sheath. I'll give you the stats of this knife. 7.8 inches overall with a 3.7 inch blade and a 0.156 thickness and it weighs about 4.8 ounces. Full tang, American made, convex edge. Awesomeness. Now let's enjoy the waves. And there's some surfers out there. Ah, oh, beautiful day. Not too many YouTubers get to review a knife at such an awesome place surfers in the background. <laughs> oh yeah. Give you a close-up of this knife. It's a beauty. Now I have done a full review of the Bark River Deer and Deer hunting knife. So Bark River made a knife very similar to this just with a little bit shorter handle for Deer and Deer hunting magazine and I carried that for about a year and I really enjoyed it it's definitely a classic uh, American gentleman uh, EDC hunting knife I really enjoyed that knife and I will provide a link to that video and related videos on this knife and you can win this knife if you stay tuned to Operation Survival. Now I will provide links to Operation Survival. Basically it's a YouTube game show that I've created where viewers can win three Bark River knives. So you be interested in checking out that link. Now I just love this design. I mean it's an awesome design. It's classic. I've got medium sized gloves so I do prefer the longer handle than the deer and deer hunting knife. So this is a, like an upgrade to that. So I'm definitely, I was impressed with the deer and deer knife, but with my medium size to large size hands, it just gives you a little bit more purchase 
a little bit more, you know, right there. Okay. So what is this knife? Well, of course it's a hunting knife, but also it can be a camp kitchen knife. Uh, it can be a EDC knife for like the city. That's kind of what I thought the deer and deer, uh, hunting knife was for me because I live in the jungle. So, you know, I'm usually wearing a big knife or a machete. Uh, so, you know, this, this blade is under four inches. Uh, so this to me was like the knife I took in grocery shopping, you know, you know, not to freak everybody out, you know, and I'm in the bank with a, with a, you know, a knife that's not too big. So to me, it was kind of like, uh, you know, I'm dressing up for the night and I'm, I'm looking at all my knives going, hmm, classic drop point hunter. Oh yeah. That's what I would uh, take on the town, you know, to the, out to the clubs or bar. This would uh, serve you well. And I really like that bolster. The palm swell is awesome. I don't know if that, if you can pick that up. And it's really comfortable in hand. You can hold it in different positions, right? And you can get right up there on that on that thin tip, you know, for skinning. That's what this knife blade shape uh, was designed for. It's a hunting knife, but also you know a camp knife, right? Because usually if you're hunting, you're gonna be doing some camping. <laughs> so I would uh, definitely just uh, I just love this knife. Uh, I would definitely say it's jungle approved. Woo! Yeah, yeah. And so they run about 200 to 250 dollars, depending on steel and handle material. You can get this in L Max. You can get it in uh, all sorts of different uh, hardwood. You can get it in uh, Sea Tac. You can get it in coffee bean uh, burlap uh, or coffee bean bag burlap. All sorts of different. Uh, you know, I saw somebody with the blue burlap. Uh, it was awesome. It was a really cool like design. You know. Because I think blue really goes good with, uh, with a shiny knife. And I think black does too. I think those color combos really kind of like go together. Um, but this African blackwood, it's a beauty. And the fit and finish on these Bark River knives, pretty good. I got to say. They are, you know, from each one, they're all different, right? Because they're handmade from a certain point. And there's going to be some variations to it. Um, depending on you know who makes it and Bark River just has an awesome warranty so if you have any trouble with the sheath or with the knife you can send it in and they have an unconditional warranty and all you have to do is you know, pay for shipping uh, and also they do customization like if you uh, want a spa treatment or something and they, they charge uh, like $15 for a spa treatment like let's say I, I use this knife really like oh, it was it's all beat up right and I'm like you know I want a brand new knife well I send it in and with $15 and like six weeks later Bark River will send send you your knife but all shiny and dressed up so I'm gonna wrap this video up right here I wanted to show James at the junkyard Fox his knife that his contestant will be using and James will do a uh, first impression video of this knife I just thought that he's in Texas so hunting um, is his kind of his thing hunting and fishing and his contestant will use this on Operation Survival and at, at the end of it his viewers get a chance to win this knife oh yeah it's amazing okay so I hope you like this video I hope you comment. I love all your comments. I love the interaction between YouTuber and viewer. And I hope you hit that red subscribe button for further videos and make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. You can watch it and tell me what you think. And until next time, hello. <laughs> Bushaka, you could win this. Sorry, James, but our deserts are better. It's Hawaii. It's always better.